I did some hedge trimming over here so I could get this hedge to grow and then so these dahlias could get some sunlight. So this one right here is called K.A. Kelty Rose, K.A. Boho Peach right here. So look at this little guy. This is called K.A. Blood Orange. Sweet little flower. K.A. Champagne. That was a bad example right there. So once they start looking like that, you got this yellow center, it's time to pull them. But look at this guy right here, K.A. Champagne. K.A. Snow Joe. K.A. Snow Joe is that one. This is called Marn. So I'm gonna clean up all that crap, get all the hoses moved. I wanna do some mowing. I just wanted to show you these dahlias really quick so you can kind of see what I've been up to. So this is, uh, this is called Peaches and Cream. This is a highly sought after dahlia. So see that there? That's called Peaches and Cream. Highly sought after dahlia, but look, the back's all raggedy. That's called Salish Twilight Girl. Look how pretty that is. That's like a $25, $30 dahlia right there. This is Valley Porcupine right there. That is so pretty. Holy crap, that's amazing. Isabel, that's new. Isabel. Uh, Orange Sylvia, Orange Sylvia. See that? That is uh, Clearview Cameron. Clearview Cameron. Mai Tai fruit salad. This is Linda's baby. Right here, see that? This one is called Ivanetti. Holy awesome. Holy awesome. Look at that guy. Holy flip, that one's beautiful. Tahoma Kelly. That one's called Tahoma Kelly. I've got a lot that are coming. These things froze on June 12th. I about cried myself to sleep that night. Or I did cry myself to sleep that night. Holy awesome. Holy awesome, look at that. Look at that. Cornell bronze. So they're really starting to go and that's, uh, that's exciting. Dahlias are some of them, one of my most favorite things in the garden. So long story short, I got some really cool stuff coming in the way of dahlias. So let's get this place cleaned up and get some mowing in. This is an Ely hose reel right here. These things are expensive. They're about 250 bucks. And out the door, you're probably 275. But I tell you what, these things are awesome. See how fast these things um, roll up. They're on ball bearings. You can put a lot of hose on there. And they're fantastic. You can get a post mount or a wall mount style. I've just mounted it to this post, sunk it in the ground there. Really, 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 I really like the Ely hose reel. I always have a link down below so I can make money from your sales or your purchases, but it's a, not a joking matter here, folks. It's full blown legit. This year has been crazy for me, folks. I don't know what it is, but I've been so busy. Um, I started a dumpster business. I have that T370 Kenworth. And so I've been running ragged. Got a bunch of dumpster containers and the greenhouse and grass and the renovation. And it's just been one heck of a season for me. I just feel like the time is slipping away from me. The time is going so fast, which in some ways I'm okay with, and in some ways I'm not okay with. And in the ways I'm not okay with it is, winter is coming rapidly, and it's just not something I'm looking forward to. So I've to. got this compost pile back here. So here's my truck here. And this is a major, this has been a major time investment and a major uh, capital investment, getting that truck and all the dumpsters. So I put a lot of time and money into it and hopefully eventually it'll just pay off and pay for itself. The dumpster truck's been fun, but 
you know, I bought this truck with 200,000 miles on it. And for a semi truck, that's actually relatively young in terms of miles, but it's starting to have things that need to be replaced. And I've been spending lots of time and energy trying to figure out what's wrong and fixing it, but joy is always in the journey for me. The joy is in doing, and I love to do. I need to mow, and I need to do fertilizing. Spiker sent me a, a little spreader, and I'm really excited to use it, actually. It's one I've always wanted to try. But I need to get this sucker mowed so I can use it. I always do the trimming first, the string trimming. I like to trim along the edge of the fence. See all the green that gets on the fence. Trim around the trees, around the garden here. I always do the trimming first and then I get out the mower. I have so much to do, never enough time to do it. So let's get the mower out and mow this sucker. There's a guy doing donuts over there in a car. See all that, uh, see all that, that dust? It's just a dirt parking lot. He's got a sports car. He's drifting doing donuts. That's kind of cool. Here comes somebody. I just finished mowing this backyard, which honestly has been a struggle for me to keep um, consistent. Over here, I put down some herbicide because I had some weeds and dandelions all through here. And I went a little heavy handed and it burned it. Look how nasty it is. It's got burned pretty badly. I'm really happy with this. Look at this line right here. See that dark green line right there? Pretty sure that's a ryegrass, dark green. That is where I trenched a line from my electrical out to my shed. No need for blue stakes here. I'm happy with it. I love this. I love grass. It's so pretty when it's mowed uh, proper, and I just love it. It's it's so so much fun. That's pretty well it. I just wanted to show you really quick what I've, what I've been up to. I did roll this today after it was wet after I put the seed down I rolled it again and it's okay I kind of wanted to break up some of the peat moss and it's starting to come in it looked better than it does now yesterday because I put more seed down more um, peat moss and and she's all wet so it's okay it is coming in and I have about one more month of growing season that's pretty well it for this video i appreciate you guys so much thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one this is a freaking sweet flower that is ka kelty rose right there so that's ka bella luna right there ka bella luna